Prince Harry knows how to poke fun at himself. The royal did an interview for a Dutch TV show to promote the 2022 Invictus Games when he joked about his hair, playfully saying that he's, quote, doomed when it comes to thinning hair. The Duke of Sussex was speaking with the Dutch athlete while he was getting makeup applied, and Harry joked, you've got a lot more to be done there, in reference to his hairline. And when another man on screen talked about not having a long time before he himself goes bald, Harry jokingly added, you're slower than me. I'm already, I'm doomed. Prince Harry's brother, Prince William, has also joked in the past about his hairline and hasn't shied away from poking fun at himself. When his first child, Prince George, was born, he reportedly joked, saying that George has, quote, way more hair than me, thank God. Meghan and Harry have been stepping out recently to attend the 2022 Invictus Games in the Netherlands. The event was founded by the Royal in 2014, and it holds a special place in his heart. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about life after Meghan and Harry exited as senior working royals in 2020, and how they are perceived in the UK since moving to America to live a more private life. I think the shock of Mexit has definitely worn off. I think the general feeling now among people in the UK is almost a kind of not knowing what will happen next. I think Meghan and Harry have continued to prove that they will throw curveballs at every available opportunity, whether that's an Oprah interview that kind of devastates the royal family or whether it's an appearance on Ellen where, you know, Meghan is kind of playing the fool in a silly prank. Um, so the shock, yes, definitely worn off, but the apprehension is still there. I don't think anyone knows what they're going to do next. And that still means there's a little bit of fear within the royal family, especially, you know, they're kind of, they've almost become like the Thomas Markle. You know, there was a time where no one knew what Thomas Markle was going to say next, what he was going to do next, what TV show he was going to appear on next. And I think Harry and Meghan have now kind of prompted that same feeling in the UK and especially within the royal family. And I can imagine that behind closed doors, Buckingham Palace's most senior advisors are still very nervous about what the two of them could say next. We obviously know that Harry is planning on writing a book and there is a huge amount of fear about what might be written in those pages. So we just have to wait and see.